Hi friends, my name is Femi Biwaye. In this tutorial, I'll be looking at cryptography. There are three things you'll be looking at in this uh, tutorial. The first thing we'll be looking at is generating randomized um, data using pseudo random. Second, we'll be looking at is encryption and decryption. And third thing we'll be looking at is creating the data and confirming the integrity of the data. So let's create a controller to test uh, our, our cryptography. So I'll just duplicate one of the controller I already have here. So let's assess our controller we created. So good, we have it here. So now let's start with the first thing we need to do. So which is generating a randomized um, data. So this is how we generate our randomized string. So whatever it is you want to generate, no, this is how you generate our randomized string. So let's go to our browser and confirm. Let's echo this. So this how to generate randomized string. Remember, we have a length here of thirty-two of thirty-two by default. So in case you want to decrease or increase it, let's say you want to make it um. 13 we go back and refresh we have 30 length in case we want to do 200 okay go back and refresh we have 200 length of um, randomized generated string so another thing we we'll probably be looking at in this is generating generating hash password in case you want to create a password you know probably that is um it comes with your default login um model Generating a password is this. You just have to write in the password you want to use. And it will be generated. This is not randomized. You inputted this data and you get what you inputted. So this is different. Let me break this line. So the first one is um, to generate um, randomized data. And the second one is to generate a um, password. So let's be look, let's look at encryption and decryption. So in, on for us to be able to encrypt, we say You can either encrypt it by key or by password, but we usually make use of the password in, in this um, our, our tutorial. So the first parameter we need to pass in is the string, data string that we want to encrypt. So, and the second parameter is the password we'll be using. So I'll say um, the first string is, my name is Femi 
So the, sec the par second parameter, which is the password, is I will use f123 and I will echo this first to see. So now this is the generated um, encryption that we have. Uh, my name is Femi. This is the uh, encryption of the data. So let's say we want to decrypt it and also for us to be sure that the data we have is accurate. So let's say decrypt by password. I remember this is what I'm... Um, let me change the name here. And this is the value, the encrypted um, data. So now the second parameter here is the password I used. Let's say intentionally I made a mistake or I don't have a there of what the password is. I'm just trying to test a random. So let me try it. I don't have anything in return. Nothing is written for me. And just so we'll be sure about that, let's put a break line here. What is generated? So now let me put in the right password, which is on F123 and refresh, I have my data back. So this is the encrypted data and this is the decrypted data. So or you, until the, you have the correct password before you can be able to decrypt what is being encrypted. Uh, looking at this, this is complete jargon. Nobody have a idea what actually behind it. So lastly, before we go, I'll be looking at confirming data integrity. Uh, confirming data integrity, there are situations in which you need to verify that your data hasn't been tampered with by third party or even, you know, um, corrupted in some ways. Maybe it has not been corrupted. So you just need to make sure that what you saved is what you still have in where you store your data, maybe your database. So let me quickly create this. And... Let me create this. So this should be so just so sure. Let me refresh. Good. So now this is how we we'll get to do that. The data you are trying to create, it does not it is not as if the data uh, will be encrypted totally, but just that the data will be concatenated with some randomized um, data as well. Meaning, um, the the content you're trying to save will be prefixed or will be suffixed, which simply means a randomized data will be prefixed to what you're trying to save here, while your original data will be suffixed. So let's 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 try that. Um, So the first thing we look at looking at is the um, um, data, which is let me see. My name is Femi, and the second data is gonna be the secret key I wanna use. Let me see. I'm still using um, Quarty. Yeah. So let's echo this and see what we have there. Let me save this in a variable. Let's see. Data. And I'll echo it. Looking at this, we have two things that has been concatenated here. First, we have a randomized string that is being created. And the second thing, we have um, our original data that is added there. So which simply means we have a bigger data here, but we make sure that our data is, still, um, is not hidden or is not encrypted. So just for us to be sure that what we have here is what we still have. Oh, maybe you store your data in a database and just in case you want to be sure that your data has not been compromised in any way. So you need to confirm that your data has not been compromised or you need to check if your data is still the same thing. So we just need to, let me copy this. And so what I would need to do here is I will validate that. And 
the first thing I will need to do, my first parameter is going to be this, which is the concatenated and my password for that. Let me intentionally make a mistake and see if I have my data back. It says syntax error. Something is wrong. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of here. Now we have the encrypted data. Let me call it encrypted, but it is more like the original data. But our, I mean, the encrypted data, but our original data is not displayed because our password or our key is not accurate, is not correct. So let me put in back the quality and see if we have our data back. Good. We have our data back. So this is what um, we have for now. So see you guys in the next tutorial.